to our second Chat to a Champ for today. Um, today I'm joined by um, Kalani Crane, who is one of our figure skaters. Um, so Kalani, say hello. How's it been going since the last time we spoke to you? Hi, everyone. Um, it's been going great. I mean, I've had a lot happen since last time I spoke to you guys, and it's been really crazy. I've been into a lot of different countries, and uh, I qualified for the Olympic Games. That's uh, really exciting. It's been it's been a crazy journey, but yeah, so much has happened. Awesome. All right. So today we are chatting. We've got questions from three different schools, um, and they are St Philip's Christian College in Cessnock in New South Wales, um, One Faggy North Primary School in Victoria, and St Brigham's Primary School in Sydney. And then we've also got some schools from um, all around the country joining us as well to have a listen. So they've got lots of for you so we will get started so our first question is um, from Caden um, from One Thaggy um, Caden's in year four and wants to know how many medals or titles have you won Ooh, I've won um, well just Australian Australian national titles uh, I've won nine and um, I think I've won four gold international medals and I, I don't really know how many um, other medals I've won internationally, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got a lot of state titles as well. I have I would have no idea how many, <laughs> but, but um, yeah, I do know I have national titles. I have nine, nine goals. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> two out, and hopefully we can add some more international uh, yeah. titles and medals <laughs> as we go on. All right, so this question is from Patrick Lachlan and Dylan from St Brig Brigands. Um, what got you started in the sport of figure skating? Uh, actually, I went to a birthday party, but also it was a really hot day in Australia. So we just decided to go to the ice rink and I really enjoyed it. And then I just started lessons and here I am. The rest is history, as they say. <laughs> All right. So the next question is from Jade, who's in year two at St. Phillips. Um, and Jade wants to know, is it easy to figure skate? I think that once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to figure skate. I mean, there's a, you have to work really hard, but I think it's uh, really fun. So I think it's a sport that you really enjoy. So you don't, a lot of the time, you don't realize how hard you're working because I find it really fun. Uh, but once you get past the basics, I think it's really, it is quite easy. I mean, then you can just work on fun things. And so, you know, I think you should give it a try because it's awesome. <laughs> Awesome. All right, so Matea from Year 5, year five at One Thaggy wants to know, have you ever been injured? And if so, how long did it take you to recover from that injury? Thankfully, I have never been injured. So I'm really happy to say that. And hopefully I can keep that ball rolling and I never get injured. Um, hopefully it's perfect world. But yeah, I've never been injured. So I'm yeah, hopefully touch wood that I won't. <laughs> All right, so our next question is, do you get dizzy when you're uh, spinning around and how do you prevent getting dizzy? I feel like uh, I don't get dizzy during the things that I do, but I feel like every single time I try a new spin that I'm not quite used to, I feel like I'm a little bit dizzy, but I think that once you get used to the way that you're spinning on the ice, I think that uh, you just get used to it and then you kind of like ballerinas spot as they um, – turn but we don't spot our heads so uh, I don't know like I don't I don't get dizzy anymore but like I said when it's like something when I try something different maybe or a different position then I'll kind of get it'll just do not dizzy but just it'll feel a little bit different yeah right okay so lots of lots lots of practice helps uh, yeah it. yeah definitely definitely all right so Sienna from St Phillips and you too wants to know how do you skate backwards I think that skating backwards is easier and I, that's only because on um, our skates, actually I have my skates here, on our skates we have a toe pick and I feel like if you skate forward then I've had a lot of times where I've fallen and I've kind of like been going forward and I've tripped on my toe pick and it, it kind of gets in the way. So I think skating backwards is easier because you're going like this way and you don't have that chance to fall on your toe pick. But uh, there's a few different ways that you can turn backwards. You can turn backwards by just simply kind of using your skates to edge you backwards or you can just turn on one foot and then go backwards. And then you just do like little crossovers 
to keep you moving going backwards. But I, I like going backwards better. That's my favorite. <laughs> backwards is easier than forwards, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so Saga from Year 6 at um, One Thaggy wants to know how many hours a week do you train? Maybe you can kind of run us through your typical training schedule for the week. Yeah, sure. Uh, a week I would train, so I train about three or four hours a day and that's for six days a week. So in typical day I'd usually get up, I usually train in Los Angeles, but right now I'm, I just got back to Australia, so I only got back to Australia on Monday. And uh, in LA, I usually wake up at around 5.45 or 6 a.m. And then I will get on the ice at 8. And I'll, this is the one rink that I go to. And then I'll do about two hours there. Then I'll change rinks. I'll go to a different rink. And then I'll do another two hours there. And then after that, I will do some gym, maybe get on, get on the exercise bike or a treadmill. And then after that, I feel better when I stretch after a big day. So I like to stretch my muscles and everything out so I feel better for the next day. Awesome. All right, so the next question is from Lena and Emma from St. Brigden's and they wanna know what's your second favorite sport? So what sport would you be doing if you weren't a figure skater? I feel like I'm really clumsy, but I'm not really good at that many other sports, but I feel like in, if I had to pick another sport that I wanted to do besides figure skating, I would probably pick, uh, I feel like gymnastics is really close to figure skating and the, it's the, a lot of the costumes they do are this kind of similar. So that's, I like that look, but also tennis would be really cool. Yeah, I mean, I love watching the Australian Open and everything like that. So <laughs> maybe tennis. <laughs> All right. So Jack from St. Phillips wants to know, what are you most excited about for the upcoming Olympics? Oh, Okay. This is a really good question because I love talking about the Olympics. Um, <laughs> but I think my favourite part is just kind of representing my country. That's really cool. And uh, opening ceremony, that's I've watched it every single Olympics and it just seems so special. And uh, definitely I, I love getting new uniforms and new, new team uniforms. That's definitely my favourite favorite I love getting new things to wear um around you know around the village and stuff like that we'll wear different outfits and I think that that's really cool so I'm really looking forward to those things awesome and hopefully uh, we'll be able to see a bit, few more pieces of the uniform coming out soon so that would be great <laughs> um all right so the next question is from Ashton um he's in year four wants to know um how many people do you compete against so maybe in the Olympic competition and then is that different to normal in the Olympics, there is 30 girls that go to the Olympic Games. Uh, it's kind of a little bit similar to other championship events. At World Championships, there's a little bit more. There's around 40 to 45 girls that compete. Uh, but that's kind of the biggest competition that you'll get. And then um, in regular international competitions, it really varies. You know, you could be competing against 12 girls or kind of 30 girls or there could be only five girls in it you never know it just kind of depends on the competition and if it's uh kind of you get more if it's more recognition a higher competition then there will be more girls competing in it but sometimes with little international events there's not that many awesome all right so talking of competitions and routines uh lenny and emma want to know which routine and in which event are you the most proud of Ooh, I'm I, I'm proud of a lot of different competitions and programs for different reasons. I mean, I loved uh, both of my routines in the competition that I did in September, which was the one that I qualified my Olympic spot in, which that was in Germany. I loved that competition just because I feel like I was under a lot of pressure to get this spot and I really rose to the occasion and had two clean skates. So I didn't fall or anything. Um, so that was really exciting and I loved just the way that I felt after my um, second routine. So we did two routines. So um, after the second routine, I really felt it was a really special moment for me. So I, I think that that's probably to this day my favourite. But then I just got, went to Canada and I tried a more difficult routine. So I'm proud that I did that. I'm proud that I managed to do that as well first try. So, yeah, there's a lot of different routines for a lot of different reasons. 
Awesome. Okay, so Alex now wants to know from you too. It's uh, at St. Phillips. Um, how long were you when you started to win competitions and think, oh, maybe I could do this, you know, at a really, really top level? Uh, I never thought that I would do it as a top level. I never came into the sport kind of um, expecting to compete and ready to get up to the Olympics. I never really expected that when I first tried the sport, but everything just happened as it came basically. So I just started skating and then I got lessons and then I just went into little small tiny competitions and started doing really well and it all progressed from there. And I think that, I think that's the way to do it. I mean, if you really enjoy it and then you kind of push yourself, then you, it, you'll go so much further. And if you really enjoy what you're doing and I really enjoyed what I was doing and I still do. So that's why I think that everything's coming more naturally and it's a lot more fun and I just I just love what I do. Awesome. All right, well sort of talk speaking of if you didn't love figure skating as much, Courtney wants to know what would you um, or did you always want to be a figure skater and sort of if not what would you want to be doing? Um if I or as soon as I started figure skating, I loved I really wanted to be a figure skater. So, I mean it was a different it's a different sport to kind of what Australia is used to seeing and it's 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 so beautiful. I mean, figure skating is so pretty to watch and it's so athletic and there's so many different aspects to it. And so I love what I do. But if I didn't, if I wasn't a figure skater, sport wise, yeah, probably gymnastics or something. But if not, um, I mean, everyone wants to be a rock star when they're a kid. <laughs> so, I mean, that would be really cool or an actress or a model, you know, those kind of things were going through my head when I was little, but career wise, I'm not really sure. I mean, I love what I love what I do. So I can't even imagine doing anything else. It would be insane. I mean, I encourage everyone to go out and um, achieve their dreams because it really is amazing. And whatever you want to do, just stick to it and believe in yourself because you never know what could happen. And it's so exciting. The, the journey is so exciting. It's not just the destination. It's definitely the journey as well. I think that's what I've learned this season. Awesome. Now it's come up a couple of times, but I actually have a gymnastics question for you from um, Rhiannon, Casey, Lauren and Grace. They want to know, um, have you ever done gymnastics before? No, I've never done gymnastics before, but I think that it would be a very fun thing to do. I mean, I think it's kind of a little bit similar of how they set it out to figure skating. That's the only reason why I say that. Um, but I, I love watching at the Olympics. The Olympics, I love watching gymnastics. So um, that's that's why I say um, it would be cool to try, but I've never tried it. <laughs> it looks very scary, though, flipping all around. <laughs> all righty. Our next question is from um, Tiara Ha. I think I pronounced that right. Um, from year two at St. Phillips. Um, now, you said you first figure skated at a birthday party, but how did you kind of learn to do it competitively? Competitively, I, I just got lessons basically and that's really what helps. I didn't, um, I went straight into private lessons where it was just me and a coach and uh, you kind of just, it's really fun because they give you routines to learn and that's a really fun thing to do and um, you get costumes and nothing really prepares you for your first competition. I mean, it, it's completely different and all these competitions are so different from each other. They progress. So you just learn what to do along the way and it's really exciting. So if you, anyone wants to try it, I definitely recommend because it's really, really fun and just dressing up and everything, doing your hair and makeup, it's so cool. So go ahead and try it. <laughs> so this question from Muhammad is kind of along the same lines. Um, who or what inspired you to start figure skating? Ah. Uh, I feel like watching, I mean, it's always the Olympics. That's why it's very exciting to be qualified for the Olympics now. And uh, I feel like that's when everyone kind of notices figure skating, especially in Australia because it's on TV. Um, it always gets bigger after the Olympics. So I feel like one of the Japanese skaters, Mao Sada, she, uh, she's been my favourite skater for a very long time and I had the honour of meeting her last year. So I think that it was her routines that really inspired me. And a lot of people inspire me for different reasons, but definitely it was, she was the standout that made me push myself. I wanted to be like her. <laughs> awesome. All right, so you said before that you train in LA as well, but what stadiums in Australia have you trained and competed in? 
I've competed in, uh, I tra- well, firstly, I train in Newcastle, the Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. And I've also trained in two rinks in Sydney at Canterbury um, Olympic Rink and in Macquarie in the shopping centre. I've skated there and but competed. Uh, I've competed in all of those rinks and one in Brisbane as well. And that's where Nationals is this year is the ice rink in Brisbane. So that's really fun. And then also in Melbourne, there's a really, there's a, a very new ice rink relatively new. So that's a... Um, a really fun one to skate in as well. Nationals was there last year. And so, yeah, I've never been to Western Australia or anywhere like that for a competition though. So maybe awesome. one day. So lots, of, lots of East Coast Australian ice rinks. Yeah, here. definitely, definitely. Thank you. All right, so Amelia from um, St Phillips wants to know, how long have you been skating for all together? I started in 2007, so that would make it 10 years now. So, yeah, yeah, quite a long time I've been, now I've been skating for more than what I haven't been skating in my life, which is which is cool to say. So it just feels like part of your life now, doesn't it? Definitely. I couldn't imagine my life without figure skating. It's I don't want to imagine a life without figure skating. All right. All right. So Ty from Year 6 wants to know, what's your favourite trick to perform in your routines? I love spinning but I also I love jumping as well there's all different types of jumps so my favorite jump would probably be the triple loop because that's my favorite that's always been my favorite loop jump has always been my favorite jump um but spinning's really cool as well because you know it looks it looks good to the eye awesome and so talking about spinning um Emily and Maya want to know how many continuous spins can you do I uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really tested that. I've been um, in my routines. I hold uh, a position for eight, but that's really easy. So, I mean, I could do way more than eight. So, um, I don't know. I'll actually kind of, I'll actually test that. I will test that. And next time I talk to you guys, I'll let you know. All right. So, Emily and Maya, Kalani is going to test how many continuous (laughs) and come back to you on that one. All righty. So, Bodhi from year two wants to know, what's your best achievement so far? Best achievement is definitely qualifying for the Olympic Games coming up. That's definitely, that's been my dream and my goal. So um, to be able to do that is absolutely amazing. I mean, it was just a lot of, well, it, the thing was is that we have to, we tried on all of our Olympic gear. We got sized for everything before I did this. So it was such an inspiration and it was such, I had to do it. I had to qualify and I, I needed to get this experience because it's I, it's my only thing that I wanted to do. So uh, definitely without a doubt, that's my number one achievement. Awesome. All right. So Lenny wants to know which trick uh, took the longest for you to learn and how long did that take? Um, kind of in, in skating, we do, so when we jump and spin in the air, um, we start off with one revolution, like one turn, and then we go to two and then three. So I think that, um, this obviously a th- three turns, a triple jump is the hardest to learn. And I think the hardest variation of that. So the hardest jump that I learned would probably be, um, maybe a triple lutz just because it's kind of the last triple that you learn i mean it kind of goes in stages so maybe you may be that one because all of the other triples i remember kind of got a little bit easier than that one but yeah yeah awesome all right so adelaide wants to know what gave you the idea to start figure skating um i never really expected to do figure skating so usually in figure skating uh, one of your parents would usually figure skate but no no one in my family is figure skated so it was quite odd for me to choose that as a sport but yeah I just um yeah just really enjoyed it the first time that I went basically and uh never stopped from there and it just I just loved it more and more and more you couldn't keep me away from an ice rink (laughs) so I just really enjoyed it and I, I still love it so it's you know it's definitely the biggest part of my life and couldn't imagine my life without it. Awesome. And now speaking of um, when you started, do you remember where and when did you first put on your first pair of ice skates? First pair of actual ice skates, I'm assuming probably when, maybe it was, eight, yeah, I was eight years old. 
Uh, I definitely would have been at the Hunter Ice Skating Center in Newcastle. Uh, and my first pair, I really don't remember when I put on my first actual pair, like a pair kind of like these. I don't remember like because when I first started, it would have been in higher skates. But, yeah, I, I, I used to have different skates to what I have now, but uh, I can't remember. That's a good question, though. I really can't remember when I first kind of put on my first pair of skates. But, yeah, yeah I, I used higher skates when I first started, though. Too long ago now to remember, hey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, another question from Ethan, um, which is where do you practice your figure skating? I practice in a lot of different ice rinks. So when I'm in Australia, I mainly train at the Hunter Ice Skating Stadium in Newcastle. But when I'm in LA, I train at so many different uh, rinks. They have so many rinks just in Los Angeles. There is... I can think of 10 off the top of my head in such a small amount of space. There's so, so many. It's completely different to Australia. Uh, but in one day or in one week, I train at three different rinks in Los Angeles. So, and that, I think that's actually a really good thing for me because then when you go over to competition um, in different countries, the ice is always different to each other. So, you know, sometimes it might feel a little bit faster. It might pop like push your jumps up a little bit higher and you kind of have to adjust to it when you get to competitions. That's why I think that if I train at a lot of different rinks in when I'm in LA, then it actually helps me because I adjust quicker when I go to competitions. Awesome. All right. So what, what do you expect from um, the ice rink and competition in South Korea um, in Pyeongchang? Have you ever skated there before? Yes, we actually, ha I have skated there before. Uh, I skated there at the beginning of the year in February. We had a kind of test event um, to test the stadium and everything. So that was in, that was a four continents championships. And the, the stadium is beautiful. I love it. It's so clean. It's so nice. It's so, it's really, really pretty. Uh, I love all the warm up areas and everything. And the ice is, you always know that the ice is going to be really good in an event like the Olympics. And the event that I was at um, in the ice rink was really high, a high event too. So um, usually at all at championship events, they're really, really good with how they handle the ice. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't expect anything less because, I mean, it's the Olympics. I know. I trust them. They're going to do good with the ice. They always they always do at championship events. It's perfect. So um, I can't wait to skate on it in February. Awesome. So and that's our next question. What are you most looking forward to about the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games, it's a whole different kind of experience. It's definitely – it's – one to remember, I think that uh, the opening ceremony representing Australia and um, actually skating on Olympic ice when you can see the Olympic rings everywhere, that's insane. I mean, I can't believe that I get to do that. Uh, I'll probably cry. I'm not going to lie. I will probably cry, especially going into the opening ceremony. I'm <laughs> very emotional when it comes to the Olympics because it's been my dream. So when you finally achieve something, it's crazy. I'm can't believe it but definitely because the opening ceremony is first I'm looking forward to that first the most awesome all right this question comes from one of our teachers who wants to know when do you find out if you make the Olympic team and what will that feel like the Olympic team it kind of goes in stages I mean um well I think tomorrow is actually tomorrow that we announce our team so I'm really excited for that uh Basically, I was I was excited just to qualify um, Australia's spot because I knew I'd done my job. I mean, that's what I had to do. It was my job in Australia to qualify that spot for our country. So uh, that was crazy and everyone wants that. They only chose six girls at that competition to give that to. So I not only qualified a spot, I won the actual competition. So I got the first spot and that was, that was very crazy and just a whole different experience so I was so proud then I wasn't even thinking about um not being chosen for the team or anything like that I was just proud of what I had achieved and uh but yeah tomorrow it's actually we announce our figure skating team <laughs> so it'll be really really fun and 
you know, it's just a once in a lifetime experience. So I'm really, I'm really happy and excited. Awesome. So that's all the questions that our school sent in and we had some, some awesome questions there. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what the, it's actually three months and one day until the opening ceremony. What do the next sort of three months look like for you? Where are you going to be training and, and going? Ah, for the next three months, I, uh, I'm in Australia for a month now. Um, I go back to LA in mid-December and I'll be training there until uh, early kind of January or mid-January where I have another competition before the Olympic Games that is in uh, Chinese Taipei. And I've been there before. It's real. It's, I love that country. So I'm really looking forward to going there. Uh, after that, I think I'll just find somewhere in Asia to train before Pyeongchang because there's not quite enough time to go from Chinese Taipei back to LA or back to Australia. So I think I might just find somewhere in Asia before that. Um, but then after the Olympics, we have world championships as well. So that's kind of busy, busy. It's been a very busy year as well. I've done a lot of competitions. I've been a lot of to a lot of different countries. But, you know, if you just kind of, I think it's actually been good for me this year to just keep the ball rolling and just kind of, just carrying on and just never stop moving kind of. Um, I think that's actually helped, but it's nice to be home. I, I mean, I haven't been home in a while. So uh, I, I only got home on Monday and it feels so strange because I'm back in my room and I've visited all my friends and family and it's been, it's been awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, we, our schools are going to chat to you again and send in some more quick, uh, more questions. And we're going to talk um, live from the Olympic Games. So that's going to be very exciting. Do you have, oh, anything, no, else you like <laughs> Do you have anything else you'd like to leave our schools with today? Uh, I just hope you guys, uh, you know, I hope you guys, whatever it is that you want to achieve in, in life, I just, I just hope that you guys can put your mind to it and because I guarantee that whatever it is, the rewards are amazing. And so I want you all to work so hard, no matter what it is that is your dream. Um, I'm living mine, so it's possible. It happens and it's insane. It's so crazy and it's so fun and all hard, all the hard work is so worth it. So please, just whatever you're doing, give it 100% and just give you, give yourself the best chance at achieving what you want to achieve because it's so worth it. I promise. I promise you. <laughs> awesome. All right. Give our schools a big wave and you will chat to them um, again in a few months time. So thank you everyone for all your questions today. Um, Kalani had a great time answering them and they were some awesome questions. So see you in three months. Yay. Bye guys. I can't wait. <laughs> Bye. All right.